Welcome once again to Merced Community College, Student Health Disease, Eduardo, Juan Eduardo Alvia. And today we are going to learn how to add closed captioning to the videos that you provided us and we ran through the grant and the grant gave us the, all those files with the closed captioning text. We're going to learn how to add that to your website that you get here on the new uh, Datatel portal that is called also uh, MC for me and uh, my site. Well, uh, it's going to be several steps, so I'm going to pause in between uh, each one. First step. As you can see, on the monitor, there is a folder containing uh, several files, and they all have uh, the same name, but uh, they all look a little bit different. Well, the first thing we need to do, if we have Windows XP or Windows 7, we need to go to the folder options. These are instructions for Windows XP, Windows 7 is very similar and I'll be adding those uh, notes uh, additionally, okay? So, on uh, Windows XP, you click on Tools, Other Options, and uh, then you go to View, and you choose to uncheck Hide Extensions, extensions for Known File Types, and then you click OK. And lo and behold, do you see what happens? Now each file uh, has a suffix, which is a dot and three letters. Now, if you want to have the same view that I do, what you might want to do uh, on the view tab is to tell your computer to show you details. Otherwise, you might only get like a list or icons. You see different representations of the same thing. But I like details because it makes me feel that I'm more in control. I'm going to pause. Um, here in front of you, it's a Windows 7 or a Windows Vista machine. and. Uh, looks a little bit different. So here you are going to go to Organize. Uh, on the menu, you're going to click on Folder and Search Options. You're going to go to View, and you're going to tell it, you're going to uncheck the one that says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. And then you click OK, and bingo. Now you can see the extensions. Now this folder in front of you is not the one that we're giving you us. I just wanted to show you how to change that attribute of Explorer. I'm going to pause again. Okay, so we're back. And now we can see the files. There's a lot of files. The common denominator is that uh, all the files, well, actually half, in this case, chapter two, has two different files. And the common denominator is that all of them have the same prefix, the same name, chapter two hyphen Harlow, and the other one's chapter two hyphen Piaget. But extensions vary. You have ASX, HTML, LRC, RT, SMI, Okay, so the ones we are interested in are HTML, WMV, ASX, and SMI. The combination of those four files have the movie and the closed captioning text and the little program that tells, little script that tells them how to behave, how to interact with each other. 
want a password. Now, we are going to edit one of those files. And the file we're going to edit is the HTML file, but we're going to use it using a very basic program that it's called Notepad. So I want you to right click on the file, do not left click, so use the right button, the right button on the mouse, and then on the icon, right click, you're going to get a set of options, and we're going to go to open with and we're going to choose Notepad. Notepad is the program that uh, programmers use. So we're going to be doing a little bit of programming. This is perhaps the hardest part of all, but it's not that hard. So there it is, a file with a lot of code. This is called HTML code, or JavaScript, they call it. And inside all of this, page there's one file that we need one reference that we need to modify and I highlighted it it says modify this file I'm gonna move it a little bit to the side and I'm going to show you that here on the left hand side there's one file by that, by that name by that extension name which is the ASX. That's what we're looking for. So, I'm going to show you a secret. We're going to click on, on the left-hand side on that file once. Then we're going to push the F2 button. That will enable us to select the content of the name of that file. We're going to copy it. So we're going to go once again to the keyboard and on the keyboard, we hit two keys simultaneously, the control and the C, the letter C. That copies the content of that file. I'm sorry, that copies the name of that file. Then we're going to go to the HTML uh, file that we had open, and we're going to paste what we copied in its place. So we're going to select only those things that are in between the quotations, and then we're going to go to the keyboard and choose two keys simultaneously, the control key and the letter V as in Victor. And lo and behold, that pastes the content. And bingo, that's it. You have just done uh, programming, writing code, a very simple way of writing code. And we're going to save this file, we're going, we're going to close it. So everything is ready for us to take it to the server. Now, you can double check just to make sure that the code is working properly and everything is interacting the way it should be. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to double click on the HTML page. That's going to open the browser. And the movie will start playing together with the. Let me show you a monkey raised on a nursing wire mother. You see, the movie is playing, and on the bottom, we have the ADA compliant. We're being ADA compliant because we have the closed captioning text. So, bingo, we did it. It's ready to be uploaded. Now, uh, we're on stage two. On this stage, we're going to go to MC4Me, which is the new Datatel portal. It's also called my site.mccd.edu. So, we're going to open Internet Explorer and we're going to go to a, a page, a URL. So I'm going to type my site or mc4me.mccd.edu. And as soon as you do that, 
it's going to prompt you to type your username and your password, which is the same username and password that you use at college. And since this is a private computer, and I want all the features, uh, I'm going to type my password. And I'm going to log in. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, that's your website. If you have already ac accessed your, your site, your home and your profile, uh, you might already have this, this website running. If it's the first time, well, congratulations, welcome. Welcome to the mc for me portal. I'm going to show you how, how to make a web page for your class and how to include content, in this case, videos, videos with, with closed captioning. So the first thing that we do on my home, we're going to click on Site Actions. And we're going to click on Site Settings. This is actually a very friendly page. And once you get to know how to use it, you're going to love it. Here, I want you to click on uh, Site Collection Features under Site Collection Administration. Don't worry, you'll be familiar uh, with this site once you use it. Here we need to turn on a feature that will enable us to do, basically for students to see the content and other neat things. And we're going to scroll down to where it says Office SharePoint Server publishing infrastructure. Provide centralized library context type, master pages and page layout, layouts, and enables page scheduling and other publishing functionality for a site collection. Which means, uh, I know it's difficult, I do not understand fully what it means, but we need to turn it on. So go ahead and click the button that says activate. So we're going to activate it, if you notice on the lower part on the, low, on the bottom of the monitor, you have like a gas gauge indicating that it's loading. So we did it. Step number two on this publishing stage is that we're going to create a website within our website. That's the way it, it, we're going to handle the creation of content. You're going to be creating, it's called subsites within your site. And we're going to do that, clicking on the Site Action button, Site Settings, and here, and here is not where we want to go, I made a mistake. <laughs> so we're going to go to Site Actions and we're going to click on Create. Create. And now we have a new uh, menu. And in this menu, on the right hand side, it says sites and workspaces. Okay, so uh, it's a good idea to place your different classes, the classes that you're teaching, in these containers. Though that's what a subsite is. So I'm going to click on site and workspace.